Sometimes the song comes after the dance. The oh, song I see. It's a response of the, the dance. It was they're... popular. Yeah, exactly. So it's but yeah, there are lots of dance songs. I'm not sure how to call it, but yeah, where like there's there's a, a great Danny Kay. Well, does a version of this where he talks. He says like, um, I'm trying to remember the name of the song, but he says you do the Eagle Rock with such style and grace, you yeah. know, and and it, like the whole thing is just naming a whole bunch of different dances. Yeah, within and each one is like one little step and that's the dance right you know? okay as opposed to like an english country dance called child grove which is a whole bunch of different figures within it okay you know what i mean child grove child grove nice i like the names yeah yeah there are some really weird names like uh one like the pride and prejudice with colin firth right that's a classic it is a classic it's a- they do a couple the dances in there are good because they're kind of the real dances, mostly. Okay. Of course, right. they change them a little bit because it's on camera and all yep. that stuff. Um, so, like, they do a couple of real dances in there. They do Grimstock, mm-hmm. and they do Mr. Beverage's Maggot. Or <laughs> Beaverage. Are, I heard Beaverage also. Right, right. So, however it's pronounced, but by God, those are weird. Uh, there's a Names. dance with a maggot word in it. Yes. Maggot meant whim or oh, did it? idea. Yeah, it oh, wasn't the little bug. In your eye? Uh, but if you have a maggot in your brain... Yeah, you I have a weird idea. idea. Yeah. But you also might have a maggot in your brain, and that's really going to mess with that's, your brain. That's like Pink Floyd crap. Yeah, that's going <laughs> to really get out there. Oh, yeah. Sure. Spooky. And the worms ate into his brain.